Hey guys, Darren here. Welcome to Mayhem Country Living. Hope you guys are doing all right wherever it is that you are. You can see what I have been doing. We are actually extending the pantry uh, another 20 feet in celebration of the upcoming elections. There we go. Um, because while I cannot predict the outcome of the elections, I will be eating all through the elections. So, that is what we are concentrating on. Enough of the political talk. If you're looking to do some work uh, and get your pantry, pantry organized, you might consider these grocery store shelves. You can get them... Uh, on uh, like a Facebook Marketplace, something like that. Very reasonably priced. I bought them from uh, directly from the stores as they were closing. And uh, a, a, at one point I had, before I really got into the, uh, you know, storing this way, I had about 150 feet of, of uh, the shelving. But I had since gotten rid of it. Uh, each, each shelf is uh, four foot, uh, these are. And so you, you put them up, they're quite modular. Uh, they don't take up a lot of space. They hold hundreds, hundreds of pounds. And uh, you can go as high as you want to. Uh, I'll show you how to do that in other videos. But it's very affordable. Um, I bought one, two, three, four. I bought another 16 feet, I want to say, for 100 bucks uh, and shelving, and the face uh, and the uh, the base plates and all of that. So it's actually very affordable. Um, and like this here, that you can get from Costco or Sam's, uh, is well. Four years ago, it was 100 bucks. So. You know, it just depends. And this is completely modular, and you can adjust and move all of these as you would want to. So I'd really uh, consider it. Um, they're not hard to put together. I might do a video on putting one up completely from the ground up. This, uh, I want this one gone because this is going to migrate into the uh, our hydroponics uh, setup, and so we're gonna be doing a lot more with this shelf, this is actually quite heavy duty and uh, it has wheels also. That's something else that we're doing. So we're moving all of the spices, uh, the herbs and all that stuff. We're incorporating them in this and then we're gonna build another eight feet to uh, accommodate, you know, leftover pieces and parts. Is it time consuming? Yes. And it, it can be expensive, but you know, you know you're gonna eat. So you might as well set aside and plan and prepare. Plus I met a really cool guy uh, who does a lot of the same things that we do in our community. Um, he does a lot of foraging. So we're gonna get together and uh, start to do some foraging. And so there'll be videos of that as well. Uh, I won't say his name yet because I hadn't asked him uh, permission to uh, mention his name. But he's a really cool guy. And uh, so, got some shelves, made another contact, met a cool person. It was a good day. Don't let the, a little bit of dirt or rust uh, scare you when you're buying these things because you can just buy any kind of paint, uh, cheap paint, and spray paint it, roll it however you want to do it. Uh, you can make it as pretty or as exotic as you want to. You can even buy the labels to go on the cover plates and so you can label each section. It's just easy to do it. Um, is it as pretty as Martha Stewart's pantry? No, no it is not, but we ain't no Martha Stewart. Anyway, just wanted you to look at this Get some ideas and we'll go over a lot of different storage ideas and uh, you can see well for example I'll show you this this was an endeavor gosh 
that was a lot of cans that I used. And those were those uh, I'd mentioned I'd gotten 300 quart jars, uh, small neck, about a year or so ago. Uh, that's where a good bit of them went. Um, but it, it is all done and everything is airtight, sealed, and as long as I protect it from UV, we won't have any problems. And, and that will last for years. And uh, and then I think from now on, all the other beans that we get, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and vacuum, uh, vacuum seal them in my lawn. Just, just my thoughts thinking out loud. Um, it is time intensive setting it up. I will say that. Um, but it's an investment in yourself. Anyway, guys, we're going to wrap it up. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for hanging out. Take care of you people.